my beams are broken. No shame. Mom, look at yours. Okay, so remember my front entranceway and how I like made the table and it looked all nice? Something embarrassing to show you. Do, 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 do. This is what it currently looks like. I've stepped back in time. The table really smelled of fumes for a really long time. It's been like a month. And guess where it is right now? Turny, turny, turny. There it is. Also, this place is still a mess from doing the backsplash. Step by yourself. Much better. So there's something that's been weird going on here. We had someone new move in and they tend to spray a lot of super fragrant something. It smells like almost like ax permeates through the hallway and into my apartment. It is so strong that I could be sitting in my room. It will go all the way into my room. Parth finds it really disturbing as well. And so I came up with this super <laughs> random solution. I cut little strips and just wedge it into all the little gaps all the way around. In the moment, you'd be surprised how fast I can do it. And there's like a lot of it. Anyway, I thought I probably should have a more permanent solution. I was at the dollar store and I found it for $1.25 only and i will be so grateful if it fixes this issue i have i think become more sensitive to scents but this is more than just a little scent this is like a lot of scent <laughs> so and this is the weather stripping that i got mostly floss it but not 100 percent I need to show you the eggs Parch just cooked. Whoop, it's a happy face. And it was accidental. Okay, so I have a couple things I really wanna get done around the house. I am gonna be having a couple people over for a big celebration. This might be a little bit embarrassing to admit, but we've been here for a year and a half and we've never had a group of people over ever. It stresses me out a little bit. But one of the first things I actually really need to do <laughs> do you see this this is the state that i leave this in open no shame but i actually did buy a product for it also shout out to the fact that my backsplash is done to the top it honestly makes the space look like a custom kitchen this isn't a good lens to show but it looks way better so i'm just coming on in something is this in yes it is hello goodbye in there Do we think this can handle my weight? Yes, good chair. I'm thinking I'm gonna cut, I don't know. What I've gotten here is some moss from the dollar store. Do I know for a fact this is gonna be enough moss? No. Well, we'll just see actually. The bottom of this bag just opened up. I'm always paranoid when working with moss that I'm going to find bugs in the moss. I don't know how there are no bugs, but there are none and I'm happy about it. Parth is gonna be so pumped that I did this because it's been bothering him. <laughs> so yeah, that looks great. And it's like a touch of realness in something that's fake, so awesome. The bottom of the bag came in clutch. That's like a nice little garbage bag. I'm so excited because I finally did this and it looks so much better. Look at it, it looks finished and it looks alive and it looks great and it is amazing. Look at the snow, so fluttery. I love it. Okay, Google, turn on the balcony lights. Beautiful. 
So I have a small confession to make, and that is that uh, my beams are broken. And um, they have been since about a couple days after I did them, but not for the reason that you might be thinking, in that they didn't just like fall or break. Rather, I kind of broke them. So if you recall, when I did these beams, they are made out of cardboard, they're lovely, I did a faux wood design. It will fool anyone into thinking that they are wood, and I genuinely love them, best decision ever, super affordable, really easy to do, lightweight, etc. Need I say more, they are also renter friendly. But the reason they're broken is because in the actual video, I showed that the first night that I put them up, I command stripped them to the ceiling and one of them fell down. And so I finished the whole project and I ended up breaking apart the joints and nailing one nail on each end, a tiny, tiny finishing nail. And did I ever refinish it to connect the boxes back together? No. And it has bothered me ever since. I, I have no excuse for why I haven't fixed it. I just haven't. Um, and it's it truly has bothered me. So let me show you what I mean. I don't think it's noticeable. If you just came in and saw it, you probably wouldn't notice. But to me, I see it and it bothers me. So this first one I actually did fix. If you see here, there is no visible like opening between the boxes. But here's an example of one that I didn't fix. And as you can see, oh yeah, there's a gap. And some of them are worse than others. Exhibit A. And the worst one of all is this one. I look at it every day. Oh yeah, that's an issue. So this issue could have been 100% avoided if I had just put the nail in from the beginning. So yeah, I am going to wood fill it now. My wood fill is still good, which it's not. It should be pink and it is wood color. Great. <laughs> Ha 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 ha, I do have wood fill the page, so perfect. So when I first filled these in, the joints looked super, super neat and tidy, but because I'm doing this a second time, I feel like the stain might go on super, super dark. So it looks a little rough right now, but hopefully it'll be fine. done that step so I'm going to wait for that to dry I'll give it maybe 35 minutes 40 that was a random number so while I take a little break before standing I'm gonna have a little snackola and I was actually at the grocery store yesterday and picked up something unusual because we don't usually have it here and that is lychees I haven't had these in a really long time I mean I mean, I had them last night because this is the little pack I got. They were kind of expensive because there was probably only like 20 for like 450, but we don't get them very often. So when you find them, you buy them. AKA, this is the first time I've ever seen them here ripe. So, you know, I actually prefer Longans. They are like my favorite because my aunt had come to visit and she brought them. They are like my favorite Longans, but these taste quite similar, so. Okay, so let me show you. They look really like spiky. Oops, just splash myself. But you can like peel it like a so. The inside looks just like a longan and um, they're really tasty. So like this, delicious snack. And I'm sad I only have four more. I often think about how like, I keep spraying myself. A good fruit tastes just like candy. Like it's literally nature's candy. It's interesting how like we would so much rather, not all of us, but a lot of times, and especially kids and stuff like that, will often so much more gravitate towards candies if those are available over fruits, but fruits are so good. They actually taste delicious. Anyway, see you in a minute. So I definitely want to protect the bed, some plastic over it. And then maybe I'll just like, Hopefully nothing will go wrong. But also I gotta get the stain up there quick cause it is smelly and we obviously need to be in here so it needs some time to dry. It's a gel stain. And I think I should have like just enough left to do those little bits, hopefully. I have to be honest with you. I really don't wanna wear my respirator because I find it really uncomfortable. It hurts my jaw. I really don't like it. But it is also very fumey otherwise. So I will because that's the right thing to do. When I'm wearing that respirator, it just like hurts my face so much. If any of you have better recommendations, I would appreciate it greatly because I know it's the right thing to do. I'm gonna wear it. Cause that's, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's uncomfy, but like, so what? <laughs> so this is my can of gel stain. I don't know where my paint opener is. And it feels light right now. 
And it honestly doesn't look like there's a lot in there. There's not a lot in there. Whoa, it's smelly. Ugh. Time to fix the beams. I hate wearing this. So while wearing that mask is totally uncomfortable and I really hate it, you know what does feel really good? Finally refinishing these beams because when you procrastinate something for as long as I have procrastinated doing this, when you finally finish, it feels so good. It is so worth celebrating. I am done at last. After all of those months at last, I'm done. Nice marks on my face from the mask. It's quite fumey in here, so I am going to leave the windows open for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> so we just got McDonald's, and here's a little hack for you. I get mac sauce on the side and dip the french fries in it. It's so good. And we get junior chickens. Such a good little combo. Do they have junior chicken in the States? Oh, maybe not. Only a Canadian thing. But if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Yeah, and if you're ever in Canada, try it. so good. Mmm. Is that okay. I love dinner chicken. So good. And then we got a little McFlurry score. So good. So it's 9 a.m. and we just woke up. And we are waiting for DIY Deli YouTube channel to reach 500k. We're at 499997. Need three more. Only three more. Go. Think I have unlimited battery? Yeah. It'll die by the time it reaches five. <gasps> 998. Nine. Oh! oh! It just jumped up to. Two Congrats, babe. 500k. Good job. Oh! Whoa, it just jumped up too like that. I know. I was like, what the heck? Wish 4999999. Woo. <laughs> Good job. Thank Congratulations. You. Can, can I play the song for you? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Today is the day of the celebration. So we have a couple errands to run real quick, and then I gotta make stuff. <laughs> And it is snowing out. I'm in the car while Perth is clearing it. Whoop, where is he? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Watch it flies away. <laughs> So a little note about balloons. Are they always this expensive? These ones from Party City were $60. What a colossal waste of money. I felt so horrible buying them, to be honest. Not to ruin my own celebration, but like, holy crap, that's expensive. We at first actually went to a dollar store and I wanted to get them there because I thought they'd be cheaper, which they were half the price. However, they didn't actually have the right colors or sizes, which sucks. So here we are. The next time I'm gonna think ahead because $60 is like, I think you could buy like a whole helium tank with that. Couldn't you? <laughs> so I was just thinking of like watching a show to decompress a little bit and then guess what happened? Where's the five? It burst. <laughs> So I'm making cupcakes, rainbow bit to be exact, because you know, ox cake mix is the best. And if you disagree with me, I believe you are wrong. <laughs> okay, so wow, 500,000 subscribers, thank you so much. I feel so grateful and you know, I was thinking back over the last 15 years and I have not stopped to celebrate any milestone I've reached really, not graduations or promotions or birthdays really even and this milestone means so much to me so i wanted to celebrate it this is supposed to make 24 but i feel like this is filled right and uh it's 22 but hopefully that's fine so i invited my family over who lives here they're coming over tonight and i baked cupcakes because when i was little and i used to have birthday parties we used to have like a decorate your own cupcake situation which i absolutely loved 
And then in addition to the cupcakes, I am making a couple other snacks, including my family's famous dip for chips and vegetables. And uh, I decided to take some photos of that because I'm going to be creating a little blog post on that in case you want the recipe, it will be linked below. Okay, so here's a little setup. We have cupcake decorating station over here. And then over here we have a nice little charcuterie board and the chip dip. And we're gonna play games and my mom's bringing wings which we'll make later and um, pretty cute. Oh look, no one has arrived. It's just a party just, crowd. Just like my family to be late. But you were making tea, how nice. Oh! Wow, look at yours! 